Hey guys, welcome to HPC Education and today we are going to talk about barrier in OpenMP. So a barrier is a point in the execution of a program where threads wait for each other. No thread is allowed to continue until all threads in a team reach the barrier. Basically, a barrier is a synchronization point in a program. The main reason for a barrier in a program is to avoid data races and to ensure the correctness of the program. Of course, there are some downsides. Each synchronization is a threat for performance. When a thread waits for other threads, it does not do any useful work and it spends valuable resources. As soon as one thread reaches the barrier, then all the threads in the team must reach the barrier. Otherwise, the threads waiting at the barrier will wait forever. So, how do you add a barrier? So, we can add a barrier by using the hash pragma OMP barrier. So, this is an explicit way of adding a barrier. Sometimes a compiler inserts a barrier instead of us. This happens because many OpenMP constructs imply a barrier. For example, the parallel construct implies a barrier in the end of the parallel region. The loop construct implies a barrier in the end of the loop. The single construct implies a barrier in the end of the single region. However, there are also OpenMP constructs which do not imply a barrier. The master construct is such an example. This construct is very similar to the single construct. The code inside the master construct is executed by only one master thread. But the difference is that master construct does not imply a barrier while a single construct does. To learn more about the master construct, do watch our video. Let's see what happens when we don't use the OMP barrier thread. In this example, I have declared two variables, thread ID and number of threads. Then I have used the hash pragma OMP parallel private thread ID. I have generated the thread ID by using the OMP get thread num function. Then I have printed the message saying hello world from thread number. Then I have used an if statement which checks if the thread ID is zero. The expected output we should get is that hello world from thread ID number should be printed and then the total number of threads. But as we can observe in our case, hello world from thread 1, hello world from thread 2, hello world from thread 0 gets printed and then there are 4 threads and then hello world from thread 3. Now, what if we want the number of threads to be printed after the hello world statements? If we simply add the OpenMP barrier, that will help us do this. We use the hash pragma OMP barrier function. When we use the hash pragma OMP barrier function before the if statement, all of the threads reach the barrier and print the hello world from thread ID. This is because hash pragma OMP barrier generates a barrier, which means that all the threads wait for each other and no thread is allowed to continue until all threads reach the barrier. And then the number of threads get printed. Thus, we got the expected and observed output to be the same. Thank you for watching the video. See you again in the next video. Bye.